Hey everybody, Mr. Lane here. Uh, I'm actually in my basement now. I think I was in my yard a couple of days ago. Now I'm down here in my basement. Uh, this is where I keep all my music stuff. In fact, you might recognize this guitar right back here. This is uh, on my banner and all my canvas stuff. And um, in fact, you might even recognize Mr. Potato Head. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you today about ecosystems. And before I do that, um, well, actually, let me just go and jump into it now. An ecosystem is when there's a system of anything. Now, the actual definition of an ecosystem is biological or natural things. So an ecosystem is when biological or natural things all work together to create a system. So there's a point A and they're trying to get to a point B and all these things have to work together in point A to get to point B. We're going to learn a lot about those in the next, uh, next couple of activities we're going to look at. In fact, ecosystems are going to be the focus of the next even week as we talk about other concepts of geography. And so today, we're going to introduce ourselves to ecosystems. In just a moment, you're going to watch a video, um, a brain pop video. You guys are probably familiar with brain pop. And this one's a little bit longer than the videos we've been watching the last couple of days. And I promise you, this is the last video for, for a few weeks. I know we've had like two videos in a row. They've been short, but um, this is a, it's good though. And so it's going to talk about ecosystems and how things work together to, in a system to create really what we have today. So to help illustrate that, I thought I would show you an ecosystem that's not biological, but something that I know, because we're supposed to teach to what we know, right? So as you can tell, I kind of like guitars a little bit. I've been kind of a guitar fanatic for quite a bit of time. Um, I used to build guitars when I was uh, in college. I worked for a company where we built guitars, we built acoustic guitars. These are electrics behind me, but I used to build acoustic guitars, and, um, and I have some of those. Uh, not, they're not out right now. but. Um, but I'm going to show you an ecosystem of how things work together. So hang on, let me, let me show you. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a system of how a guitar rig works. Um, and it's kind of a, in its own way, it's its own little ecosystem. And so I'm going to kind of take you through the process of that. Now, I'm a big Fender guitars guy. I don't know if you've ever, if you're into guitars, you even know what that is. But Fender's uh, been around, they kind of invented the concept of the solid body electric way back in the late 40s early 50s and kind of a fender nut i have around here i've got vintage fender posters that i just happened to very fortunately someone gave them to me they're from the 70s they're super super cool um i have seven fender instruments myself um i've had a few more but kind of traded and solded solded <laughs> that's great english don't tell mrs cox i said solded um and so i'm kind of a fender nut right now I'm going to play the one that's on. I showed you it's on my um, canvas screen. This is called a Fender Coronado II, and it's kind of an uh, old '60s uh, guitar. And uh, I'm going to take you through how an ecosystem of a guitar works, and this would hopefully be the parallel of how a natural ecosystem works. See the connection there? Hmm? See right there? All right, all right. Here we go. Let me show you through this. Okay, let's start with a guitar. An ecosystem has different components that make up the whole system, right? So we got to start with the guitar. We'll leave out the human factor like the guitar player itself. And by the way, yeah, I am sporting my Padres shirt, one of the multiple, multiple shirts I have. Um, so here we have my, my, my guitar, okay? And my cable is in the way here. So the ecosystem starts with the guitar, this guitar ecosystem here. And uh, it's made up of, I won't go through how a guitar works, but you got the guitar sound, goes through the pickups, and it goes out the cable. Where's the cable? I'm kind of upside down here. There it is right there. It comes out the cable, and then it goes into the ever-important pedal board. Now, one obsession that a lot of guitar players have is their pedal boards, and I have spent years building up my pedal board. Uh, it changes all the time, although this one has been, uh, I've had this kind of variation, well, non-variation for a while. Uh, it's lasted for a few weeks, which surprisingly is a long time for <laughs> for my pedal board but so what happens is the, the signal comes out goes into through this cable goes into my pedal board and I won't take you through the system because I know most of you don't care but it goes through a whole bunch of good pedal board pedals and it does not go in order they're all kind of routed and it's all a specific way so, but what I want to do is I want to get the sound of my guitar here I want it to sound like certain things and the pedals make it sound different ways and then it's going to go out to the amplifier okay and that's all a part of this ecosystem so if I want to make a certain sound, I have to step on certain pedals to turn them on, right? And you can see the little light comes on if they come on. This is a 
turns, lets the volume come through. But if any one of these don't work, well, my whole ecosystem is completely shot. If the guitar isn't working right, if the, if the cable is broken, if one of the pedals doesn't have power, if um, one of the pedals knobs is turned a different way, it's going to change. If the amplifier is not plugged in or if the tubes in the amp aren't working right, um, there's a whole bunch of things that can go wrong in this ecosystem. But when everything works like it's supposed to, then you're going to get some nice sound. that is an ecosystem. Now again, it's not a natural ecosystem. It's not using natural things or biological things, but it is an ecosystem in itself. And, it's, and just go with me on this illustration. So today what you're going to do is we're going to take a look at an actual natural bio, biological ecosystem. Let me show you what you're going to do. Pay attention to the next thing. Okay, so here we are in Canvas um, homepage. Come down to the assignment, depending on the day you are, it's either August 9th or, or period, August 9th or August 20th. Let's look at the Geotask uh, ecosystems, so and we tap on that assignment. We're going to watch this, uh, a brain pop today. You guys are familiar with brain pops. Now, I can't embed the brain pop like I've done the last couple of videos because it's not a YouTube video. So I'm going to click on the first um, assignment or first clicking here thing, and that's going to take me out to my browser. Now, I'm already logged in, but what's going to happen is if you're not logged in, it's going to ask you to log in. It's going to ask you, to, you know what, let me take you through that real quick. So I logged out. So now if I'm going to log in, um, do it through Clever. So Clever is a uh, service we have here at school. It makes for logging in a lot easier with one assignment. So I'm going to type in Riverside Junior High and our school should pop up. St. Riverside Junior High, Hamilton Southeastern School District. Make, you, make sure you get that one. Once I do that, log in with Active Directory. That's real important that you click the Active Directory. Now it's going to ask me for my password. I'm already signed in, so it's going to use my fingerprint here. And then you may have to get a one of those, um, you know, text things if you get a text number, but not sure if that happens. But now I'm logged in. You can see at the top. By the way, we've just walked outside. If you hear the lawnmower from a neighbor, um, you can see that my I'm logged in because I've got my email up there. But they didn't take me to the video. Here's where it's kind of a fluke. You have to go back to Canvas and go now click that same link. And this will take me back to the Brain Pop link. It's, I wish it didn't have to do this, but it's Brain Pop and they're pretty secure. The video is here. I can expand the video to make it full screen. And I can start watching the video by hitting play. When I'm done, then I'm going to go back to Canvas. And I'm going to grab the worksheet. Now, this assignment actually is going to be turned in. This worksheet is. But it's rather simple. As you watch the video, uh, Moby and Tim are going to talk. Well, Moby's not going to say, say a thing except for his beeps. But Tim's going to talk about ecosystems and how in each ecosystem there are producers, there are consumers, and there are decomposers. So as they talk about producers, I want you to write down what are producers and some notes about them. What are some of the consumers in an ecosystem? And then what are some decomposers in an ecosystem? and how they're connected. So you'll see this graphic or organizer is divided into three different sections. So just take notes on each one, producers, consumers, and decomposers, and it's that simple. Now, if you are able to print this off at home, you have a printer, then I'd recommend printing it off, handwriting it out, and then scanning it or taking a picture and uploading it back. If you do not have a printer, um, you can, in the top right-hand corner, right next to the little magnifying glass, is a pen tool. Um, if you tap that, you now have access to some drawing tools, but probably the easiest thing to do is to tap this T and you can create a text box. Well, not test box, text box. And you can write your answer there. And when you're done, just 
let go of the keyboard, and then you're going to export this and save it, and you can um, send it back to me in Canvas. You can have export it to Canvas and that kind of thing, which you probably know how to do. If you don't, I'll be happy to help you with that. All right, so that's how you can answer that. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, and if you have any questions, you know I will be here. So don't leave the Zoom. Leave your Zoom open. I will be here. I'm going to mute my mic and my camera, as I've done before. But I will be here if you have any questions. And I will call us all back about five minutes before the end of the period. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here for you. Good luck. And go ecosystems. Woo!